Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and thank you for tuning in to Canada Jerry's nightly news to the headlines. The President of the Republic extends a message to the Algerian people congratulating them on the occasion of the 61st anniversary of recovering the national sovereignty. The U.S. President Joe Biden congratulates the President of the Republic on the occasion of celebrating the National Day. The President of the Republic supervises the annual awarding ceremony of ranks and medals to officers of the People's National Army. The President of the Republic grants a pardon to the benefit of 8,537 prisoners on the occasion of the National Day. A colorful parade is held in the capital Algiers as part of the festivities marking the celebration of the National Independence Day. Welcome again. First off, and on the occasion of celebrating the 61st anniversary of the Independence and Youth Day, the President of the Republic extended a message to the Algerian people congratulating them on this national event. The gist of the message in this report. The Algerian people celebrating on Wednesday the 61st anniversary of recovering the national sovereignty, a glorious day that culminated in a memorable epic in the struggle of peoples for liberty and independence. On this occasion, a pay a vibrant homage to our brave martyrs whose sacrifices allowed Algeria to get rid of the colonial shackles. A similar tribute is paid as well to our brother and sister who are veterans. Celebrating the 61st anniversary of independence and youth is a further opportunity to evoke the great and noble efforts that we are expected to make at all levels during these dire circumstances, to be up to the level and get rid of all dependency and harder carbon income, the reason behind the squandering of the national wealth. The milestones of this new era are now clear to our youth who adhere to this new approach, being aware of its ensuing challenges. This is perfectly illustrated by a dynamic and a constant national and foreign investment in a constant growth, in addition to other values such as valorizing work and knowledge economy by creating small and medium sizes Enterprises accompany the great facilitations meant to promote the creative spirit among young people. Celebrating this national event is an ideal opportunity to hail the People's National Army, the heir of the Liberation Army, the flag bearer of martyrs and war veterans, to defend our homeland. Congratulations to the Algerian people, God bless Algeria, and the glory to our valiant martyrs. The President of the United States of America, Joe Biden, congratulated the President of the Republic, Abdel Majid Tabun, on the occasion of Independence Day. To quote the U.S. President, on behalf of the American people, I extend my best wishes to you and to the Algerian people on the occasion of celebrating Algeria's Independence Day for a sustainable partnership between Algeria and the United States to help promoting peace and prosperity for both peoples. We work together to face up the main security regional challenges, namely combating extreme and terrorism. We also work to consolidate our trade and economic ties. As Algeria is getting ready to become a member of the UN Security Council next year, the United States looks forward to working with you to advance shared democratic values and our shared vision for the world. Next year, I look forward to deepening the partnership between our two countries and to promoting friendship between our peoples. I wish a happy National Day. End of quote. On the eve of the 61st anniversary of Independence and Youth Day, the President of the Republic, Abdel Majid Boun, Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, Minister of National Defense, supervised the annual ceremony for rank and medal awarding to the officers of the People's National Army, which took place at the People's Palace. Roundup of the event with Melissa Kebash. <laughs> The 
President was received at the People's Palace, hearing all Jews by Army General Said Shingriha, Chief of Staff of the People's National Army, and the Army General Ben Ali Ben Ali, Commander of the Republican Guard. After listening to the national anthem and hailing the national flag, President Tabun reviewed a Republic Guard detachment who paid him the honors. The President then hailed senior officers of the People's National Army who welcomed him. After the welcoming ceremony, the President of the Republic, Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, Minister of National Defense, presided over the ceremony of awarding ranks and medals to a number of general and senior officers of the People's National Army. The event was marked by a speech delivered by Army General Said Shingriha, in which he expressed his gratitude to the support granted by the President of the Republic to the military institution. Present at the ceremony, high officials of the state at their head, the President of the Council of Nations, Salah Gujil, President of the National People's Assembly, Ibrahim Bougali, Prime Minister Ayman bin Abdurrahman, President of the Constitutional Court, Omar bel Hajj, members of the government, advisors of the President of the Republic, high ranking officials of the state, a number of senior officers of the AMP, and war veterans. Ranks and medals were awarded to a number of senior and general officers as well to assimilated civilian people. Several generals also received the rank of Major General by the President of the Republic. Nasir Bouhamma. Ismail Shwebna. Why colonels received the rank of general. Wazir al-Difaa al-Watani al-Uqada al-Atiya asma'uhum. Mahrez Jiribi. Mohamed Tufiq Shushan. Mohamed Namar. Nordin Buzina. Al Aqid Faizad Rodri. Aqid. As for Lieutenant Colonels, they received the rank of Colonel. Nabila Mansouri. Yasin Mursi. Layashi Sari. Sidali Kritin. Sonia Marrah. Sum al Riasi, al Muarrak fi Sabah Shirin Juma al Fin Tajah Shirin, al Mutatamin al Turkiya ila Rutba Ala. The President of the Republic, Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, Minister of National Defense, awarded ranks to several officers within the framework of a special promotion. Masoud Abu Nuar, the Marasim of the Army of the Defense 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 of the Army. Medals were also awarded to a number of military executives and civilian figures. The Prime Minister of the Army of the Army of the Defense of the Army of the Army of the Defense.
العقيد جمال بوشريط المقدم فضيل برزيقة الرائد خالد سحنوني وسام الجيش الوطني الشعبي بدون شارة يزدم إلى كل من المستخدمة المدنية الشبيهة دليل أبو عرام المستخدمة المدنية الشبيهة كليليا بن سعادة As Army General Said Shingriha, Chief of Staff of the People's National Army, he also awarded medals to a number of officers. Likewise, for Army General Ben Ali Ben Ali, Commander of the Republican Guard. Lakhdar Kamal. سيد بوكروم عبد الحكيم اوشيش Army General Said Shingriha, Chief of Staff of the People's National Army, thanked in his speech on behalf of the People's National Army's personnel, the President of the Republic, Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, Minister of National Defense, for personally chairing this annual ceremony, which occurs on the eve of the 61st anniversary of recovering the national sovereignty, adding that this historical step is considered among one of the biggest achievements of the 21st century, and that this event is a talent evidence of recognition for the efforts deployed by our forces in accomplishing their assigned missions across our territories. <laughs> The Army General also renewed his recognition to the support granted by the President of the Republic to the military institution, reflected by the different evaluation and orientation visits. This exceptional support reinforced our determination in continuing the development process and modernization of our defense equipment through the acquisition of military technology, weapons, and modern equipment. Adding that their objective is to protect our security, our national vital interests, and our air, ground, and maritime borders. <laughs> عن حدودنا البرية والبحرية ومجالنا الجوي في كل السياقات وفي كل الظروف والأحوال. At the end, President Abdel Majid Tabun hailed the masterminds of the National Liberation War, where veteran commander of the Fourth Historical Province, Yusuf Al Khatib, known as Hassan, and this in the presence of Army General Said Shangriha, Chief of Staff of the People's National Army. The President of the Republic, Abdel Majid Boon, and after consulting the Supreme Judicial Council, signed two presidential decrees, the first of which is related to the pardon procedures in the common law crimes, including 8,537 detainees, increasing thereby the number to 145,739 detainees beneficiaries, while 282 detainees benefited from clemency and appeasement procedures in crimes of insult and offense. The second decree concerns in Inmates who have obtained the intermediate level certificates, and those who pass the vocational and training exams, as well as those who obtained university education certificates for the 2022 and 2023 academic year. Excluded from the presidential pardon, people sentenced for crimes of terrorism, murder, escape, espionage, conspiracies, conspiracies against the state, and unity of the country, among other serious crimes. Celebrating this event is the ideal opportunity to honor Algeria's friends, including Andre Pavinko, who played a role in clearing mines left by the French colonizer on our borders. Let's shed light on this faithful friend of Algeria in this report by Najah Tayyar. 
After more than six decades, Andrei Pavlenko, a war veteran from the Russian Deminers Brigade, at the age of 95, he still remembers his participation in the clearance of thousands of mines left by the French occupier along the Algerian borders. He arrived to Algeria in 1963 to take part in this noble mission and humanitarian act that further consolidated the Algerian-Russian friendly relations. Algeria called on many countries to help with mines clearance who demanded skyrocketing sums, which Algeria refused and turned to the former Soviet Union, which offered its help with no condition. After independence, the repercussions of the colonial crimes remained colossal, as evidenced by the mines laid by the French army along the Algerian borders during the War of the National Liberation, which claimed thousands of victims, dead and wounded. The list is long, which made the mission of the Russian deminers' brigades led by Andrei Pavlenko worked with the most difficult but the noblest. We have established friendly relations with the local population and the elements of the Algerian army with whom we have worked. One of our missions was training in the field of mines clearance, and when we left, we offered them all the equipment. We were able to defuse two million mines during that period. In recognition of his valuable contribution and his remarkable job, Andrei Pavlenko was rewarded by the President of the Republic, Abdel Majid Tabun, with the Merit Order Medal of the Ashir rank as a strong token of recognition during his visit. I consider the gold medal awarded to me by the President of the Republic as a recognition for the work accomplished by the Russian deminers. Decades after, this collaboration memories are still as vivid as ever, a close and effective collaboration which reflects the depth of the Algerian-Russian relations and which made possible to train elements of the People's National Army in the field of mines clearance and allowed to defuse, according to statistics, 9 million mines till this day. Algeria's ambassador to France marked the 61st anniversary of independence with a ceremony organized at the premises of the embassy with the presence of members of the diplomatic corps accredited in France, as well as the rector of the Grand Mosque of Paris, in addition to war veterans and friends of the Algerian Revolution. The ceremony kicked off with the national anthem and reciting Al-Fatiha, or the opening chapter of the Holy Quran, in memory of our war veterans. Other forms of celebration took place in France, such as the festivities organized by Algerians in Charente Maritime, where an intergenerations meal was held in honor of the occasion with the presence of war veterans who met with Algerians representing the national community established there, a way to transmit the history of the Algerian struggle for independence. The kickoff of the Pan Arab Games coincides with the commemoration of Independence Day. To this effect, a group of young Algerians of the national community established in France arrives this Tuesday. This first group will visit the country with all costs covered pursuant to the instructions of the President of the Republic, Ahmed Seredir Najahdayar. These young Algerians residing in France would not miss for anything in the world this edition of the Arab Sports Games. They came in huge numbers to attend this event and they received the warmest welcome. We were warmly welcomed. We are excited to attend the Games opening ceremony in the 5th July Stadium. It is a great pleasure to be back to my country. I thank all the teams who prepared this and I thank the President of the Republic. I am very glad to be here, invited to participate in this huge Algerian event. We are proud to represent the Algerian diaspora. An opportunity for these young people to display their strong attachment to their homeland, Algeria, especially on the 61st anniversary of the independence and youth. I am very content for them and I hope they would spend unforgettable moments and have contact with the youth here in Algeria. At the Arab Sports Games opening that coincides with the independent 61st anniversary, we are very delighted to welcome our community residing in France. The objective is to strengthen the ties between them and their mother country, Algeria. The Arab Sports Games forge a golden chance to these young Algerians to reconnect with their country and support the national athletes participating in this sporting event. 
kept asked by the President of the Republic, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and the National Community Abroad, Ahmed Attaf, arrived in Baku, the capital of Azerbaijan, to take place in the ministerial meeting of the Non-Aligned Movement to be held the 5th and 6th of July. This meeting, hosted by the Republic of Azerbaijan, the current chair of the Non-Aligned Movement, is part of the ordinary meetings that aim to promote consultations and coordination between member states on several issues and challenges on the regional and international levels. During his visit to Baku, Ahmed Attaf will hold bilateral talks with the Foreign Minister of Azerbaijan and will be received by the high authorities of the country. We wrap up with this colorful parade held in the main streets of Algiers as part of celebrating the National and Youth Day. Enjoy and good night.